everybody good morning it's going to be a beautiful day i am of course none defense and on the team we created yesterday grublet youtube we are we have 87 intel i don't know what operation we're going to do first but i feel like powder keg at 88 is just a little 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 too easy for us i've got i guess i should feel like i should have my eyes at least on operation if that's operation 11 then i feel like we should at least have an operation maybe 12 no let's go 13 where's 13 sour grapes let's aim for that let's aim for sour grapes team so we need a little bit more intel cool so what to, i'm going to do today just to do something a little different i'll do imitation game later <coughs> excuse me uh now that we're in charge of generating our own intel i figure I should do uh, the Warships game a little bit more. So on all three accounts last night, I kind of poked around and got them past the basics. So here we go. I'm just going to do some battles for you. I prefer the All Zooka Rush. Big fan of the All Zooka Rush. And battle. Here's where we go. Okay, okay. So we're going to... Send a flare there, send out two heavies, let them get just a little bit ahead of everybody, and then send the rest. That's so they'll trip that um, that shock mine there. Let them all get situated. Now we're going to speed them up. Get them all past all those mines. All right, here we go. Now, shock you. One more speed up. Get on there. And boom. Get on up there, fellas. And pop. We won our battle. We're good at this. So that was the hookah rush. Pretty exciting stuff. What's this gentleman using? He's going with the uh, Grenadier and see a couple of riflemen hidden out there. They won't last long. Good job, guy. You did it. So it's a fun little game. Did you see that? I don't know what he meant to do, but he flared the heck out of that uh, base. Maybe that was intentional. Maybe he's just being goofy. Cool. We did that. Let's do another one. Refresh and go. But yeah, the uh, Warships game, it's a fun little game. I like it. Hate this part, waiting on somebody. But that's just me. I always hate waiting. Okay. I do this a, a lot over here where I just... Send everybody far over here. Those shock mines really, uh, really make things very sad and depressing. Make sure everybody's up here. It's almost there. And boom. And shock. Now get everybody moving. And boom, another little flare, and shock. Oh, well, we're moving fast today, guys. And shock. And boom. One again. Look at that. Hookah Rush. Love the Hookah Rush. If you're going to do the warships, I'm a big fan of the Hookah Rush. Don't get me wrong, you know, there's various combinations that are a lot of fun. But every time that I've done the warships, I've just focused on doing the hookah rush. Get all, get your hookahs, get your shocks, get your smokes, get whatever it is you're going to need. Get them hookahs in. Make them rush. 
when I see this base, I can't help but think, like, why don't hookah rushes work on the main game? I mean, I guess they would if you, uh, you know, really focused on making them work. You would definitely want to maximize, uh, max out your, your heavies, that's for sure. And you need lots of good gunboat to properly, uh, to properly utilize them. One, two... Okay, no shock mines to worry about this time. Everybody going, everybody going. Take some damage right now. Alright, let's get now. There. Oh, get out of here. No, get out of there. Stop. No, stop. That was lame. Never had that happen before. Okay. That's alright. Didn't throw us off too bad. So there you go. Warships. That'll be enough to open one chest. I'm going to go knock out uh, imitation game real quick. And then I'm going to wrap this video up. And we'll con uh, I do have to go to my brother's here in a little while. As I promised him, we'd be hanging out and doing some projects. So, uh, just wanted to get a little video in, show you the state of the situation. My thinking is, is let's get this op started tomorrow. And we have all day to uh, get the necessary intel. And then we'll start talking about growth and building up. Well, I hear sirens. I don't know why. My wife is a, a dispatcher, an emergency dispatcher, so she knows everything about the neighborhood and the town. So whenever I hear sirens and she's at home and I want to ask her why there are sirens, she looks at me like, well, how the heck would I know? I'm literally at home with you. You're asking me this question in person. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So the first few stages of imitation are pretty easy. Just drop a bunch of barrages. What is all these sirens? A uh, cool thing is the maybe y'all have seen in the news that there's a big solar eclipse coming up. The state of Arkansas will be in the path of totality, so we're going to have Oh, I say we, the, the, the place, the city of Arkansas, or the state of Arkansas, is having like a big, big old party. Big old party. So my wife's uh, night, or on, when the, on the days around that, my, my wife's job at the dispatch, that should be interesting. A lot of tourists, tourists coming in to see the path of the totality. Going to ask all them questions about that big ball in the sky. And say, what's going on with that? That don't even make sense. That's that's how they talk. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and bomb you just to get rid of you. We're going to do an actual raid here. We will be doing a little smoky rifleman. We love to smoke. Big fan of the smoke. Alright. Oops, that was supposed to be a critter. I threw another smoke. It's fine. Let's just get in position. Any minute now. And that's one of my kitties playing with his little uh, rolly ball toy. Sorry about the noise there. It's cute. It's cute. You love it because it's cute. That is Phoenix. Funny story about Phoenix. I We named him Phoenix because I literally found him in a fire. I'm not kidding. There was a, uh, a brush fire in the neighborhood about... A, few months ago 
and some neighborhood kids came and pounded on their door, and, Mr. Matt, Mr. Matt, there's a fire, there's a fire. I was like, oh, okay, well, let me, uh, go assess the situation and try to figure out what are we going to do about this fire, and, uh, sure enough, they took me to where it was, and there was a backyard and a bunch of debris, and it was, in fact, on fire. So, I, uh, it was, the fire was happening near a, a wooden fence and a garage type structure. So, I, um, just started moving the items away from the fire. And, um, uh, in doing so, it revealed a kitten. There was a kitten under the fire. And I said, okay, well, we can't just leave a kitten here under the fire and of course nobody wanted to take a kitten so now we have a kitten and his name is phoenix and truth is he and i we, we we get along very well we are good friends he and i good old phoenix once we get this uh operation going tomorrow what did i say we we're going to work on sour grapes i believe it was. That'll be fun. Our uh, force point numbers will start going up. And uh, we'll start appearing. <clears throat> we'll start appearing on people's. Um, when they're looking for a team. And they, you know, hit the find button. They'll, like, we'll start popping up on that screen. Once we start getting some force points in. So that'll be a lot of fun. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just barrage the HQ. We've built up plenty of GBE. Pop. Nice. We are crushing imitation game. As long as we can beat the next one in one attack, then we'll have two attacks for base seven. I'm gonna go ahead and just get my troops back up. Hmm. Biggest problems is this rocket. One, two, three. Didn't need three. Only needed two. But I can't go back because it's Dr. T. Alrighty. So that may destroy that, actually. Let's find out. Take it. Little critter there. Get rid of that. Boom. One, two, three. Okay, doing good, doing good. Let's get ready for that smoke job. I don't always smoke this side of the base, but I do find that that's a, uh, well, I mean, both sides really can be uh, dangerous and exploitable. So that's why, well, what makes it dangerous is the fact that it's so exploitable. I think that's what I meant to say. All right, cool. Let's get rid of this mortar and this shock launcher. One more. Okay. Let's get rid of both of these flamethrowers. And position up here. Get everybody up here. If we get another barrage off, we're going to utilize it on these two flamethrowers here. And just make sure they're not there. So we're going to just save up the GBs. I'm not worried about that grappler. When you're running rifles, it's just not that big of a deal. It just really isn't. Alright, cool. I think we're winning. Let's bomb that or uh, send some critters on that mortar see if that does the job I think we're about to win yeah we're about to win we're good at this we're good at boom beach everybody congratulations to us all right one more dr t and then this video is over so just to clarify we're starting the op tomorrow that'll be saturday morning from my perspective i'll wake up starting up and uh i and 
that's the schedule I would like to keep. <coughs> Excuse me. That is, uh, and the day that I wake up and there's not enough intel, we just automatically rolls over to tomorrow. Let's not overcomplicate, you know, this. Um, let's get on schedule, stay on schedule. Since there's only a few of us, and we're starting the easier ops as a result, you know, we'll be winning pretty quickly, I would think, because they're not really hard bases at this level. And the three people on this team, myself, Don, and Crab, like, we're all pretty good. So I'm pretty confident once it's time to get into business. So we still have a... Uh, second accounts uh, second attack so we're going to use it so let's uh, make sure we get everything that's going to annoy us at the end but yeah with a uh, uh, crab's pretty good but he has uh, the two lower level accounts over here and that's fine that is okay okay is that uh, going to be enough for that is it going to be let's go ahead and fight this machine gun and let our troops die. And then we'll just do a quick reload there. But this machine gun being gone will give me a uh, you know just one more one more easier point of access. Let's shock this. Get rid of all of that. Nice. Let's see if we can take out this sniper in the correct amount of time. We'll try. Did I get it? Get it? Please get it. Just get it. Hey, I got it. All right, cool. Nice. So that was Dr. T on that. Now we're going to retreat. I'm going to just let you... All right, you know what? You're, you're kind of doing okay. So let's just let him go. Maybe he'll get the win. He didn't. All right, cool. <clears throat> Last one. We're going to go do a quick reload. Grublet has more than enough diamonds to handle the job. Now, final Dr. T. Final Dr. T. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Killing it. Okay. Now it started the smokes. Alrighty, head towards the rear. Bomb this mortar. Did I uh, miss my hit? Must have missed it a little bit. Alright. Okay, it wasn't great, but it's fine. Let's get up here. Throw a med kit down. Heal these guys up. Get rid of the flamethrower. That's a tough flamethrower. Whoever made that flamethrower knew what they were doing. Okay. We're going to shock this flamethrower once it's time. It's time. Let them do the do. Alright, cool. Now come back over here. Let the critters finish up that shield generator. And we position ourselves for the win. Hey, there's still a rocket down there. Well... I hope that doesn't become a problem. But we still think we're going to be okay. Let's throw a med kit. I think we're going to wear it down. Or we won't, and we'll have lost base 7 on Dr. T. Because of poor planning. Find out.
This is life on a grublet. Sometimes they don't work out. I'm starting to think this is not going to work out. I can't believe I missed that rocket. Oh well, life goes on. I'm not going to let it ruin my day. Fun stuff. Good job, everybody. <clears throat> Aim for the stars, you land on the moon, or something like that. So that was it. So we did. We failed to on Doctor on Doctor T Seven imitation game. Remember his name used to be uh, Doctor Terror. No, that wasn't Doctor Terror. That was Hammerman. Well, either way, imitation day. So that was fun. We're gonna wrap this video up. We uh, that quick little push put us at oh, wrong screen. That quick little push bumped us up a few extra intel. So yay for that. We're going to post this video. I'm going to go hang out with my brother Jude. I'll get on and play some this evening, and we'll figure out what to do tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching, and you all have a beautiful day.